In thy wrath, have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is troubled greatly. But thou, O Lord, are not long. Turn to me again, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for thy mercy's sake, for in death there is none that is, in, that is mindful of thee. In Hades, who will confess thee, I toil in my groaning. Every night I will wash my bed with tears. Will I water my couch? Through wrath is my eye, become trouble. I have grown old among all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye that work vanity. For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord has received my prayer. Let all my enemies be greatly put to shame and be troubled. Let them be turned back and speedily be greatly put to shame. How long, O Lord, will thou utterly forget me? How long will thou turn thy face away from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul with readings in my heart by day and by night? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God, and watch my eyes, lest at any time I sleep unto death, lest at any time my enemies say, I have rebelled against him. They that afflict me will rejoice if I am shaken. But as for me, I hope in thy mercy, my heart will rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, who is my benefactor. I will chant unto the name of the Lord, most high. Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God, and light in my eyes, lest any time I sleep unto death, lest at any time my enemies say I have rebelled against him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. <coughs> alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. And God is with us, understand this for nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. God is with us, understand all ye nations, and submit yourselves, and submit yourselves, for God is with us, for God is with us, for God is with us. Two ways. 
And according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know that my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. Before, for behold, I, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, and hidden in secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with high sun, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with the whole birth offerings, and thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole birth offerings. Then shall they offer bullets upon thy altar. O Lord, hear my prayers, and let my cry come unto thee. Turn not thy face away from me, and the day when I am afflicted, incline thy ear unto me, and the day when I when I call upon thee, quickly hearken unto me. For my days are banished like smoke, and my bones consumed like wood for the burning. I am spit in my grass, withered in my heart, for I forgot to eat my bread, my, by reason of the voice of my groaning. My bone has cleaved unto my flesh. I am become like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl in the ruined house. I have watched in him like a sparrow that sits alone upon the housetop. The whole day long my enemies reproached me, and they that praised me made an oath against me. For behold the face of thy wrath, and thy anger I ate ashes like bread, and my drink I mingled with weeping. For after lifting me, thou hast dashed me down. My days like a shadow have been declined, and my grass and withered. But thou, O Lord, forever abidest in thy remembrance, is unto generation and generation. Thou shalt rise up and have pity upon Sion, for it is time to have compassion upon her. Yeah, the time is come, for thou, servant, for thy servant have taken pleasure in her stones, and they shall feel pity for her dust, and the nation shall fear thy name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory, for the Lord shall build up Zion. And he shall be seen in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the humble, and has not despised the supplication. Let this be written for another generation, and the people that is being created shall praise the Lord. For he has looked out from his holy height. The Lord from heaven has looked upon the earth to hear the groaning of them that be in fetters, to loose the sons of the slain, to declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kings to serve the Lord, he answered him in the way of the strength. The fewness of my days declare unto me. Take me not away at the half of my days, and generations and generations are thy years. In the beginning, O Lord, thou did lay the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou abidest, and all that the garment shall grow old. And as a vesture shall thou fold them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. The sons of thy servants shall have their dwelling, and their seeds forever shall be guided aright. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous seed, who has made heaven and earth the Father of that majesty, who has bound the seed by the word of thy commandments, who has closed the abyss and sealed it by a terrible and glorious name, of whom all things are afraid and tremble from the presence of thy might, for no one can endure the majesty of thy glory and Unbearable is the wrath of thy threatening towards sinners, but immeasurable and unsearchable is the mercifulness of thy promise. 
For thou art the Lord most high, compassionate, long suffering, and pleasures of mercy, and repentance of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to you, the multitude of thy goodness has pro promised and penitence, and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, and in the multitude of thy compassions has decreed repentance for the salvation of sinners. There, now, therefore, the Lord God of hosts has not appointed repentance for the righteousness of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, who have not sinned against thee, but has made repentance upon me, a sinner, for I have sinned. Lord, in the number of the sands of the sea, my iniquities are multiplied, and I am not worthy to look upon and to see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquities. For I am bowed down with many iron bands, so that I cannot lift up my head, and there is no release for me, because I have provoked thy anger and done evil before thee, neither having done thy will nor having kept thy commandments. And now I bow the knees of my heart, beseeching of thee, come and see. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my iniquities, but in pouring, I pray thee, loose me, O Lord, loosen me, destroy me not with my iniquities, neither mend the teeth forever, keep my evils, neither condemn me to the most parts of the earth. For thou, O God, art the God of them that repent, and upon thee I will show all thy goodness. For thou shalt save me from unworthy according to the plenitude of thy mercy, and I will praise thee continually throughout the days of my life, for all the heavenly hosts in thee, and thine is the glory unto the age of ages. Amen. For we grow up, we might be more of a mercy on us. For we grow up, we might be more of a mercy on us. For we grow up, we might be more of a mercy on us. Lord, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Son, and 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 and in this confrontation of the rest from the evil one. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory to the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and ever unto ages. Amen. 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 To live a virgin is but to love transcend.
rescue me from my enemies, O Lord. Unto thee I have not a refuge. If you do thy will to thy my God, thy good spirit shall lead me to the land of uprightness for thy name's sake. O Lord, thou shalt quicken me in thy righteousness, shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. In thy mercy shalt thou deliver from my enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will, O men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy good glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, I am God, Son of the Father, that take us away since the world, have mercy on us. Thou that take us away since the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For thou wilt hear holy, thou wilt hear our Lord Jesus Christ, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every night will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, as thee have I fled for refuge, you should do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the covenant of life, in thy life shall we see light. O Lord, to thee thy mercy as men, I know thee. Thou art saved, O Lord, keep us nice without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise the Lord, by thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as far as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, keep thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, and I by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure forever, to stay not the works of thy hands. To these do praise, to these do song, to these do glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Philip, Job, Hermogenes, 
of our fathers among the saints, Clement of Ogrin, Sava of Serbia, Euthymius of Chernova, Innocent Metropolitan of Moscow, and Latin of the Aleuts, the Holy Confessor of Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, Latin of North America, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, Nikolai of Zichu, who labored in America, and John, the wonder worker, Archbishop of St. High in San Francisco, of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Protomartyr, Martyr, Archdeacon Stephen, the Great Martyr Killer Pentelema, the Great Martyrs Demetrius, the Most Streamer, and George, the Trophy Bearer, the Holy Proto Martyr among Women, Thecla, the Holy Great Martyrs Catherine, Barbara, Paraskeva, Alvin, the Proto Martyr of Britain, the Cosmos of Italia, Juvenal, the Proto Martyr of America's Companion, Peter the Aleut, Martyr of California, the Higher Martyrs John, Alexander, Seraphim of Vasily, who labored in America, the Holy New Martyrs and Confessors of Russia, our Venerable God bearing fathers and mothers, Anthony of Egypt, Salvas the Sanctified, Mary of Egypt, Legion the Penitent, Anthony Theodosius, the other wonder works of the caves of Kiev, Sergius of Radonesh and Job of the Child, Seraphim of Sarov, Paisish of Belchkovsky, Nicodemus and Silvan of the Holy Mountain, and Herman, the wonder work of Alaska and America, and the Holy Righteous Priest, Alexis of Wilkesbury, Jacob of Alaska, John of Kronstadt, the wonder worker, and Sebastian of Jackson in San Francisco, the Holy Righteous Juliana of the Merciful Lazarevo, the Holy Blessed Xenia of St. Petersburg, the Matron of Moscow, and Matryoshka Olga of Alaska, uh, the, the Holy Righteous Ancestor of God, joking out of all the saints, we beseech you, most merciful Lord, hearken unto us sinners, and make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. <laughs> Bishop Benjamin and all thy brotherhood in Christ, and for every Christian soul afflicted and weary in need of God's mercies and help for the protection of this city and those who dwell therein, for the peace and stability of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, for the salvation and help of our fathers and brethren who with diligence and fear of God labor and serve, for those who have gone away and those who are abroad for the healing of those who lie in infirmity, for the repose, refreshment, and blessed memory, and forgiveness of sins of all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox come to their rest before us, who lie herein everywhere, for the deliverance of captives, for our brethren who are serving, for all who serve and have served in this holy temple. Let us say, Lord, Lord Jesus 
Christ our God, through the prayers of all pure lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the body as powers of heaven, supplication, the honorable, glorious prophet, foreigner, Baptist John, the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, their fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, the venerable, God bearing fathers and mothers, of the holy, righteous answers for God, joking man of all the saints, make our prayer acceptable, grant us forgiveness of our trespasses. Shelter us under the shelter of thy wings and drive away from us every enemy and adversary. Give peace to our life, O Lord, and have mercy on us and on thy world and save our souls, for thou art good and lovest mankind.
cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, I awoke for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me around about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all without cause or my enemies. The teeth of sin is not so broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay thee down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, chasten me in thy wrath. But an arrow so fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sin. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking. There is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, and my strength hath failed me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood. And my nearest of kin have stood afar off. They that sought after my soul and replied with us. They that sought evils for me, spake the day of the day, and crafted us all the day long, and they meditate. But as for me, the like a deaf man, I heard them not. And was up was as a speechless man that opened not his mouth. And it became as a man that heareth not, that hath in his mouth no fruits. For indeed have I hope, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never my enemies rejoice over me, the day when my feet were shaken. Those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. For my enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. For the vain of evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Take me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, and my salvation. For take me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, and my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul that thirsted for thee, how often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwalking. So in the sanctuary I have appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. No, no, no. As with marrow and fatness, let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee, thou art become my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul that cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. And as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul, they sought. They shall go down into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Horses for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad and up in God. Everyone shall be praised and spared by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my help. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. If my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life of the Hades hath grown up. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more. They are cut off from thy hand. They make me the lowest pit, in darkness and the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast moved my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, in the, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders. For shall physicians raise them up, that they shall give life. Give thanks unto thee. 
Nay, shall any of the great tell of thy mercy and of thy truth and thy destruction? Nay, shall any of thee know in thy darkness and thy righteousness in the land that is forgotten? And as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turn his darkness away from me? Before man am I, and he shall have from my youth. Yea, I have been exalted, I was humbled and brought to the cell. Thy furies had passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, and in my neighbor, and thine acquaintance is the cause of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, thou down my ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee. He is gracious unto all thy iniquity, redeemeth all thy infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth the judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto the eternity will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities has he dealt with us, neither according to our sins has he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his Son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, yet he knows that we are not. As for man, his days rest in wrath. As a flower of the field, so shall he love and forth. When the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone. No longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. His righteousness is upon sons of sons. Upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord are his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord are his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord are his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, my truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and if not in your judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. My spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled. I remembered the days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered all the creations of thy hand. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsted after thee like a waterless lamb. If you hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of upright. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemy, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In Jesus, praise the Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy.
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. For the reading of the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos, and never Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
God of Judah, that I shall forward the Christ the expectation of the nation, and to Jacob for the Lord, the next time for those who are of Damascus, and the blood of Samaria, and his foaming falsehood, and the godly faith. Glory to the power of the Lord. Glory to the earth, glory to the king. Shine for the star of Jacob, O master, that I was to live in joy the wise watchers of stars, the followers of the word of the law, the soothsayer of old, the power of the best, and receive the first fruits of the nation, and the best of the worship of me. Glory to the power of the Lord.
Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the age of age.
born, and it would be especially contemplate going forward. That holy silence, uh, that, that night which the shepherds were visited by the angels and greeted with these, these glad tidings, this night in which the, all the course of human history, all the course for forever was changed when our salvation, when our Savior was born. In that, in, that, in that lonely, uh, out of the way place, in such humble circumstances, surrounded by, surrounded by the animals and the, the shepherds. In this, in this matter, this holy night, let us both of these things to contemplate this, rejoicing quietly in our hearts, and continuing to be able to greet the coming day tomorrow, on Christmas Day, with, with, with that great, exceeding great joy, as it says. So I wish, I wish you all this evening the peace and joy of our, our Lord. And we'll gather together tomorrow at 9 a.m. for the divine liturgy and activity of our Lord. May God bless you and be with you all. Christ is born. Glorified.